hello guys and welcome back to this tutorial series so in the last video we've made a rock paper and scissor game so let us try that for a second hyper is loaded and we'll use http server like always and we'll open up it in chrome right so it's gonna start game and it's a simple game which sometimes the player wins by a lot sometimes the computer scores a lot i don't know why it's completely random so just forget about the gameplay so this is a game we'll click start and you have three choices rock paper and scissor and it is a given that everybody knows this game right so i'm gonna stop the server and first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cd into my parent directory and since this is hosted in a github for you guys to check if you want we are gonna make this a clone so what we are gonna do now is gonna be a clone of this game all right we are not gonna edit the game as it is we are gonna make this game into an instant game so i'm gonna do git clone and paste that clone url if you don't know where to get it click clone or download and copy this link all right now it's cloned i'm gonna cd into uh, rock paper and scissor.js all right so now we are inside of that we are gonna open up it in visual studio code good so uh first thing we need to make this into an instant game is that we need to make this like i'll show you show this to you http server dot right now if we open this game as you can see if a player is in a mobile device the game still allows you to like zoom in and zoom out right like if the player has an iphone or a android phone like when he opens a game inside his facebook messenger it shouldn't be able to scroll i mean zoom right sorry about that all right so he shouldn't be about allowed to zoom so in order to remove that like i'm gonna paste a link in the description go ahead and open it just dot github dot com and this url will be pasted inside of the description just copy this these meter tags would disable scalability and it will ensure that it is responsive in the mobile and these are for apple screens i don't know what that is but mobile web apple compatible and this one means full screen and this one means screen or screen orientation is portrait you will have to change this into landscape if your game is a landscape mode game but for now let's just do portrait All right i'm going to paste this inside of my head tag here oops i did not copy it fully All right so i have pasted this here and now if we load the game it still allows us to zoom but in a mobile device that thing would be gone okay on a phone the person would not be able to like zoom in we are like pinching the screen okay so that is it and next thing we got to do is the important part we will have to load facebook game sdk so like we always do facebook instant game docs We'll go to the getting started page and quick start all right so we will load up the sdk first in order to do that we'll paste this before the script tag good and we will need to initialize the facebook sdk we will do that here before our script tag is loaded and after that we will have to set loading progress right so we will make a function over here if you don't know what these are just go ahead and watch my second part and two point i mean yeah second part of the second and third part of this tutorial series all right so i'm gonna set an interval because we don't have any images to load we're just gonna paste a dummy interval over there var interval is equal to set interval 
and inside of here we'll have a function inside of that we will set our interval to 100 millisecond and first we'll set the progress is equal to zero of course and at every instance of the interval the progress would be updated by plus is equal to five I mean yeah five yeah we'll make it quick this time and inside of here we will just do if progress greater than or equal to 95 right we will just remove the interval so in order to do that we'll do clear interval and interval so the interval is cleared it is no longer I mean done again the looped again so we'll just type in inside of here we will go ahead and load up start gamer sync right and after start gamer sync for now we will just console log game has been started right this would do now we know that this setup would not work because facebook instant game sdk was, does not load on localhost so in order to fix that we will just stop the server here and go back to our documentation and go to test publish and share we already installed all these and we do not have a key or a certificate so we will make it right private key unable to load private key oops first command first okay and the next one country name everything else i'll type in blank and copy and paste this okay cool now it will show you this now click on proceed and change this url to localhost one more thing change our oops https localhost yeah cool now if some if they ask you this go ahead and click proceed yeah the game has been loaded now one thing more to do we will get oops we'll have to go to developers.facebook.com and create a game here so for now i'm just going to use my test game which i made in the last video copy this and first thing copy this we will paste it over here just so that we know and we will use a new id replace it with this template or dummy copy this url and use it instead of our game right a game is created actually this is all you actually need in order to create a game you can add a what you say a splash screen before your game and call the splash screen here like start splash and everything but that is not necessary like this would create a basic game we will now check if facebook accept this as a game or not so in order to do that we will go ahead and open up finder and we'll just except for the dot git folder everything else and the readme that is not necessary everything else we will just compress it archive it and in the next video we will upload this into facebook